Here is the Word doc showing the background section of the specification for a burglar that we have used as an example before. There are two parts to the background section as you see here. The first of these two parts is the field of the invention and the second is a discussion of the state of the art. So let's first take the field of the invention and the field of the invention simply states the present invention is in the field of fishing lures and accessories and this one goes on to say and pertains particularly to lures made to imitate winged prey. The first part of this is sufficient. The present invention is in the field of fishing lures and accessories would be just enough. We don't have to go on with the rest of it but many authors prefer to add a focus um, so the author in this particular case added this focus. For our purposes, we want to keep your specification as clean and simple as possible. So we would prefer if you simply state the field of your invention, and there are no wrong answers. Depending on your invention, you might say computer keyboards, automotive tools, internet business services, or whatever seems to fill the bill. The field portion of the background is just that simple. Now let's consider the language for the discussion of the state of the art. The whole purpose of the discussion of the state of the art is to state problems and unmet needs in the art that persisted before your invention came along. And in this particular case there are a few very short paragraphs uh, and you can read them here. Uh, we talk about, uh, the author here talks about uh, topwater lures how they operate and one problem is they're difficult to fish in heavy brush around stumps, lily pads, etc. Um, current soft body floating lures such as frogs, rats, and mice get snagged easily. Another limitation is heavy cover uh, is keeping the offering in a desired zone. So you can read through this and exactly what it does is just simply states the problems and unmet needs in the art. At the end of that discussion of problems, we add one simple statement that says, therefore, what is clearly needed is, and in this case, we say a fishing lure and method for fishing that solves the problems mentioned above. This can be relatively abstract. Do not, at this point, go on with a lengthy description of your invention and how it solves the problems. That should be and will be done elsewhere in the patent application. All we need here is a very succinct statement that says what is clearly needed is whatever your invention is that solves the problems that we described. Now you may want to develop your language separately from your Word doc and copy and paste from a worksheet and that is perfectly alright and you can work directly in your Word document if you prefer. You do have the ability in the Word doc to edit to your heart's content. So follow these guidelines, keep it simple and brief, and when you are satisfied with your language, go to the navigation pane and move on to step number nine for the brief description of the drawings.